um, Senator Tony Adder, if you can lead us in prayer, and Senator Manasilver Tyron, if you can lead us in the recitation of the Nipresi. Senator Tina Munya Barnes, if you can lead us in the singing of uh, Penogi Chamorro, and Senator Frank Bloss Jr. for the singing of the national anthem. Lord, in thy name we have assembled, and in thy name we desire to proceed in all our doings. Grant that this body may so subdue every discordant passion within us, so harmonize and enrich our hearts with thine own love and goodness, that we may humbly reflect that order and beauty which reign forever. Amen. Senator Monetarin for the recitation of the Impressi. Ginimastakilu Gihinasoku, Imestakilum Gikurusonhu, Zani Masfigu Naninya Senyahu, who offer said my sedzu para by protehi, Zanhu defendi, Ihinengi, Ikutura, Ilinguahi, Iairi Hanam Zanitana Chumuru, Yinchaku Jirachu Gininas du Ustata, Esti Hua Fitma, Gihilu e Biblia, Iben Dani Benderahu, Iben Derenguahan. No gitsa moru, purita nota, kantai natu nanya i todu i lukat. Para hi onra, para hi gloria, abiba i inslahasin para. Senator Tom Adda, <coughs> Senator Tony Adda, <coughs> Senator Blush, Vice Speaker Cruz, Senator Duenas, Senator Guthards, 
Senator Mabini, Senator Munia Barnes, <coughs> Senator Palacios, Senator Penglinen, Senator Respicio, Senator Rodriguez, Senator Silva Thyron, Speaker Wampa, Senator Yamashita. Madam Speaker, who is to report there is a quorum. Senator Respicio, you recognize. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker, and good afternoon. I, my first motion, actually I move that we excuse Vice Speaker Cruz and Senators Tom Adda and Ben Clean from today's session. And Senator Duenas. And Senator Chris Duenas, correct. On that motion, without any objections, so ordered. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I move that we approve the legislative journal dated 529-2012 to 6-4-2012, 2012, subject correction. Hearing no objections, so ordered. Thank you, Madam Speaker. There are communications and petitions, and I move that they be placed in the session journal. Hearing objections, so ordered. As well as on item 9, Madam Speaker, there are messages from Imagala and Guahan, I move that they be placed in the session journal. An objection, so ordered. Madam Speaker, there are reports of standing committees, and I also move that these reports of standing committees be placed in the session journal. Hearing objections, so ordered. And there are no reports of select committees. So on item 12, Madam Speaker, uh, I move that bill number 473-31 COR to bill number 488-31 COR be given its first reading. Hearing objections, so ordered. As well as resolution number 443-31 through resolution 466-31. Hearing objections, so ordered. And certificate number 149-31 to certificate number 154-31 also be given its first reading. Hearing objections, so ordered. And my first motion, Madam Speaker, is any um, resolutions of commendatory, or congratulatory, or condolence in nature uh, that's introduced for the duration of this session day uh, be considered uh, duly adopted and that the sponsors work with the legal counsel and the clerk uh, in the preparation of these documents as well as uh, authorizing that uh, all co senators be co-sponsors of these uh, resolutions or certificates. Hearing objections, or Madam Speaker, um, before I can make the motion to place Bill 488-31 on the agenda, uh, I want to say that um, I'm in, in receipt of a copy of a letter from from our chairman of the of who has oversight uh, responsibilities of the Guam Election Commission, Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. Uh, he's written to you uh, on the matter of Bill 488-31, and this bill is an act relative to authorizing the Guam Election Commission to reconfigure the primary election ballot to accommodate independent candidates by adding a new item one to subsection A of 16301 of Article 3, Chapter 16, Title 3 of the Guam Code annotated. And Chairman Rodriguez um, respectfully requests the waiver, Madam Speaker, on the basis that this bill is identical to a provision of Bill 413-31, which was um, entertained by this body, went through the entire legislative process, uh, and that um, the bill did pass. However, it was not, uh, it didn't meet the governor's approval for reasons outside of this provision. And so, uh, him having written to you, I'm also uh, pleased to report that you responded uh, immediately, uh, agreeing with him, uh, and that there was a, because there's a conflict in the statute that needs to be uh, resolved immediately, and that this uh, Bill 488 does meet the provisions of statute, uh, you are hereby um, granting that the requirement for a public hearing be waived. And so I have copies of both letters. So Madam Speaker, based on your ruling, uh, I move that uh, Bill 488, since it's now eligible for placement on the session agenda, I move that this be placed on the second reading file. Thank you very much, uh, Senator Rispicio. Um, and you are correct, of course, that I do have a copy of uh, the letter from uh, Senator Rodriguez <coughs> requesting for the waiver. And correspondingly, I've uh, submitted in writing as well to the clerks uh, uh, agreeing to, to waive the, the requirement considering that the entire process that we went through with Bill 4, 13, was it 413 or 431? 413. Yeah. Uh, that um, that the language is, was was duly um, uh, discussed uh, during the committee of the whole. So, and with that motion, then hearing no objections, so 
Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, also under motions, I move to place the appointment of Mr. Joseph Artero Cameron to serve as a general member of the Guam Academy Charter School Council on the legislative concurrence. On that motion, without any objection, so ordered. Madam Speaker, I have no other motions at this time, but under legislative concurrence, I move that this appointment that we just accepted for Mr. Joseph Artero Cameron uh, to serve as a general member of the Guam Academy Charter School Council with your committee's recommendation uh, to, to confirm, I move that this be placed in the voting file. There are no objections, so ordered. And now we can proceed to the second reading file. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Senator Rodriguez, you're recognized. Thank you and good afternoon, Madam Speaker. I move to place Bill 488-31, a third reading, and be allowed to briefly speak on it. Please proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, Madam Speaker, this bill is a response to um, a previous law that this body had passed and signed into law by the Governor of Guam, which uh, in our effort to, to minimize the crossover voting in future elections, we passed a law that um, required the Guam Election Commission to have a, a two-sided ballot. W one side would be the Republicans and the other side would be the Democrats. After that bill was passed, of course, we were aware of, um, of the potential challenge that, and, and difficulties that we may face if there was an independent or non-affiliated uh, um, non-affiliated party that would want to be placed in the ballot. And so in our deliberations, Madam Speaker, of the election reform bill, Bill 413-31, uh, this body made it a point to address the situation, and it was included um, in that bill, which was passed, a provision that would allow um, the Guam Election Commission um, would, that would authorize them to reconfigure the ballots should a candidate um, who was not a Democrat or Republican or any uh, affiliated or part of any affiliated party um, be allowed to be placed on the ballot. However, um, as we all know, that was um, vetoed, that, that bill was vetoed, and so no further action was, um, was taken. And so we have now in front of us, um, Madam Speaker, a bill that would um, make those corrections, took that provision off um, Bill 413, which was approved by this body um, earlier in the Committee of the Whole. It was concurred as well with their legal counsel, the Legislative Legal Council, as well as the Guam Election Commission um, Legal Council. And so we know that this provision would, um, would give the sufficient uh, statutory authority uh, to the commission to be able to accommodate uh, an independent candidate. And so, um, if I could read for the record, Madam Speaker, what we are uh, attempting to do here is add a provision, and I'll read some page two of the bill, line four, where it starts. If there are qualified candidates who are not members of either the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, then the Guam Election Commission shall reconfigure the ballot as necessary in order that candidates' names shall be placed on the ballot in three or more columns, with a separate column for each different recognized party, and a separate column for those non-affiliated. The Guam Election Commission shall limit voters to mark their ballots in only one column for all offices in that primary election. And so, um, Madam Speaker, in this provision, there's the, um, there's the, the, the language that would trigger this provision coming into effect in the event um, there is an independent candidate willing, um, an independent candidate that would like to be placed on the ballot. And so the existing law that requires a uh, ballot of, a double-sided ballot with the Republican and Democrat stands, um, you know, let's say f in future elections, um, there's no independent candidate that wishes to be on the ballot, then that, that law would stand and that would prevent any crossover voting as, as, as we know in the very past election, we had over 4,000 crossover voting that occurred and that had disenfranchised, essentially, uh, that much of our people. And so I'm asking um, my colleagues to please support this, this measure, and I thank my colleagues who had agreed and co-sponsored um, Bill 488-31. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Thank you, uh, Senator Rodriguez. We'll take a brief uh, recess.
The legislature is back in session. Senator Rodriguez, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, Madam Speaker, in consultation with the minority leader, I'd like to um, make a amendment. Right now it says, if there are any qualified candidates who are not members of either the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, we'd like to change that to any registered political party with the Guam Election Commission. Any, any political party any registered with the Guam Election Commission. Registered with the Election Commission. So then you'll be to delete then on lines five, the Republican Party or the Democratic Party and replace it with any political party registered with the Guam Election Commission. That's correct. On that amendment without any objection, so ordered. And also, um, Madam Speaker, we can um, ask counsel, our, our legal counsel, to make any technical um, changes Correct. needed to, to, to the other parts of this section to conform with this new language. To comply with the language. On that uh, amendment, without any objection, so order. Thank you, Senator. So on the motion then to place in a uh, third reading file. So none, so then no, no, no objection, so it's down to the third reading file. Thank you very much. Senator Every Show, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I just move that we be allowed to vote without engrossment on Bill 488. Okay. No objection, so order. Bill number 488-31-COR. Bill number 488-31-COR introduced by D.Z. Rodriguez, Jr., Rory, R. Respicio, Judy P. Guthertz, Tina R. Munya Barnes, Adolfo B. Palacios, Sr., Judy T. Wampat, E.D.D. An act relative to authorizing the Guam Election Commission to reconfigure the primary election ballot to accommodate independent candidates by adding a new Section 1 to Subsection A of Section 16301 of Article 3, Chapter 16, Title 3, Guam Code Annotated. Roll call. Senator Tom Ada. Senator Tony Ada. Yes. Senator Bloss. Yes. Vice Speaker Cruz. Senator Duenas. Senator Guthards. Yes. Senator Mabini. Yes. Senator Muni Barnes. Yes. Senator Palacios. Yes. Senator Pangalinan. Senator Respicio, yes. Senator Rodriguez, yes. Senator Silva Tyron, yes. Speaker One Pat, Senator Yamashita. Bill number 488-31 COR received 11 yay votes, four excused absence. So bill number 488-31 is duly passed by this body. On the appointment of Mr. Joseph Artero Cameron to serve as a general member of the Guam Academy Charter School Council, all in favor, please raise your hand. Uh, Senator Mabini. Thank you uh, for those present uh, that is uh, unanimously um, conf uh, confirmed by this body. Uh, Senator Espicio, you recognize. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I, I move that we adjourn subject to the call of the speaker. On that motion then, no objection. This legislature is adjourned subject to the call of the speaker.